Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle Seasons and why am I not in front of the dungeon? I do not know. But I will be soon enough. If I can remember where the dungeon is. That was to the right. Did I just lose? Lose myself? Did I just get lost? Isn't it like right below me? There it is, except I can't get to it. Son of a bitch. Well, I am wasting time now, aren't I? You know I should just cut to getting to there. You all, you all know where it is anyway. Okay, and we are back at the dungeon. Level 2, Snake's Remains, and what am I going to do here? Also, I just realized that I don't have a shield. I should have gotten that earlier. You can get it at the town, I believe. Why did I just do that? No, I need these. Stop messing around with this setting. Stop messing around with your items and do what you have to do. Okay. So, let's go left here and not get hurt by those guys. I will just equip my boomerang just in case. Boomerang freezes enemies. I think I may have said that already, but I will repeat myself anyways. Five rupees in that chest. You don't need to get it. It's not even worth that much. But go up here and you'll find yourself in a room with a couple of snakes pretty easy to kill them I think there is one more right there come on get over here oh, crap get yourself a small key now I don't believe this there is a door other than this one to this room so we have to go back and now we go into the center area and now we can go up and these these torches will shoot at you and there are enemies in here. Nope, I'm gonna evade that. I was thinking maybe I could push one of those, but I don't think I can. Stupid snakes. Give me my heart back, thank you. And there's a locked door right there, so that's why you had to go left first. Also if you notice, there is a big ass arrow pointing to the left, right here. So it can only mean one thing. And if you hit this piece of the wall, it sounds different than the other other normal pieces, right? So there's a bomb wall here. And what's in this room? Lots of rupees. You're probably gonna easily be over 200 if you're playing this game. And you get through here. See, I'm already over 200. I'm almost at 250. Rupees are not a problem at all. More than 300. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. These guys are annoying. I hate them. Please die. Oh my god. So bad at fighting these guys. Could you please die? Thank you. Could you please kindly die, sir? You too. Okay. And door to the left was unlocked. And first time I got here, I was sort of stuck. You're supposed to use your bombs. I don't know why I didn't figure that out. And oh, I missed it. Come on. Get over you little shit. Now, you know what? I'm smart, you know? Yeah, screw you, you asshole. You fall in that pit. And you got the power bracelet. You can now lift heavy objects, such as pots, because for whatever reason, Link cannot pick up a little pot. Actually, um, looking by the size, judging by the size, they're actually not that little. They're more or less about the size of Link himself, so... Yeah... Maybe I shouldn't judge. Look at that thing. It's he's holding a pot bigger than him up on his on top of his head. And you got the dungeon map up here. So now you gotta go back and go through this door. And snakes, go away. I don't like you. Annoying enemies. Why am I, why do I still have that thing equipped? Get the boomerang out, that's more helpful against snakes. And, easy puzzle here. You just gotta make it symmetrical and the door unlocks. 
and this place it has spiky things of evil doom I don't know what they're called they're just blades and they have skull in the middle and they hurt a lot so don't hit them you know just a no duh comment but I don't remember if you're supposed to go down or go right you know what? I'll go down I'll bite the bullet and you need the power blaster to push these so yeah, you have to go that way and get that item before you can get over here and really do anything in this dungeon. Come on, push that thing. And also, a little funny animation. If you get squished, it's like, oh, derp. You just look so weird in that sprite. But I sort of wasted some time. Oh, well, whatever. Not like it matters. Okay, and this is sort of funky. You're outside the dungeon right now. But there is a purpose to this. A Gasha plant, Gasha seed, and also you have to go down here. And I believe this is required. And damn it, I forgot to equip my boomerang again. Yeah, I got him on the way back. And I got a heart anyway, so no trouble at all. For some reason your boomerang can't cut through grass, I don't know. That's kinda weird. But anyways, this room, you need bombs to get through there. Uh, I think eight should be enough. And you gotta do this quick, because this treasure chest is on a timer. So yeah, hurry the hell up. And I was going down for some reason. Hopefully I should still be able to do it. Come on. Uh, I got one bomb left, that's all I need. Come on. Hurry up, and I got it. You need this small key. And I just gotta go back. If you do run out of bombs, don't worry, you're not completely screwed. There is a Deku over here. He'll sell you bombs, but I don't need any. You might be able to get some refills from these, uh, maybe. I don't know. I guess not. So, you know what? That extra money might be used right there. But it's really not that hard. Um, and, yeah, whatever. Now you can get out of the dungeon easily if you wanted to, but... We still haven't finished it, so there's no point in that. Go away, stupid bats. And is there something down here, actually? I already have the power bracelet equipped. Pick that shit up. Uh, slow down! Yeah, slow down is so fun. So much fun. Push that thing. Alright. Now. I'm gonna wait for this thing to pass me by because that last time I got killed in the first dungeon it was by one of those types of things. I'm gonna try not to die this dungeon, but I can't promise anything. And if you don't have bombs here, bomb refills right up here. Just kill these snakes, get some bombs back. And go down the ladder. And I do not know what's down here. If I remember correctly, there are thwomps. Yes, there's a thwomp. And money! Even though we don't really need it right now. Come on, get down here, bat. You know what? You know, get over here. Stupid stinking bat. Huh. I'm gonna get you. Whatever, it's not worth it. Not worth it! And these guys, you can just run right through them. Because they're not fast enough. You're too slow. You're too slow. Yeah. Obliter obligatory Sonic Super Smash Brothers reference. Equip this back. And back to these block pushing puzzles. Although these aren't really blocks, but whatever. They may as well be. I feel safe with those bats over there. And 10 rupees. Almost as bad as the 5 rupees. But slightly better. And if you stand over those cracked blocks, you will fall. So just run over them quickly. I don't know what happens if you fall. I think you just probably lose health. I don't think there's a second floor to this dungeon. Actually, I have the map, so... No, there isn't a second floor to this dungeon. And also, for whatever reason, a sword can't break pots. But whatever. So let's use our small key here, and mini boss time! To kill this guy, you gotta use your bombs. Bomb some Dodongos. 
Well, I can't bomb Dodongos if he's not he's not showing his face. Come on, man. Show your face. Yeah, that's right. And if you run out of bombs, he'll drop them. So, not to worry. Also, yeah, I think these things drop the bombs. Yeah, right there. There you go. Free bombs. Bosses give you an easy way of defeating them. Even if you manage to botch things up as much as you possibly can. Anyways, continue on to your right. You got this room with moblins and bats. And that guy was running away from me for whatever reason. And... Cracked wall over here. I killed that bat with a pot like a boss. I wanna kill this one with a pot too. Aw, oh, I missed. Whatever. Anyways, quick your bombs. Bomb this... Bombable wall. Some of them are quite obvious, but if they're necessary, they usually aren't. You gotta kill these things with bombs. I forget what they're called. Pose voice or something like that. I don't know, I don't remember the names of Zelda enemies. Except for keys. Friggin' bats. Anyways, you got this weird little turning thingy. So, if you, you want to get to the right, you're gonna have to go from the top. Because each time it just changes what direction you're going. It reverses it so you can't just go wherever you want. And down there is a boss door. For some reason I couldn't find the word door in my vocabulary. I don't know why, actually, I need to check something. Uh, no, we don't go there. Okay, can I go down from this room? No, I cannot. Uh, lag... Bombs... Lagable bombs... I don't know why Fraps is doing that, you know what? I am rendering a video out... So, ow, 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 don't do that. But, I'm, but I am rendering a video out... So, I don't know, maybe that's why it's lagging a bit more than it normally does. These guys are easy one-hit kills. Those things are invincible as far as I know. Oh, fucking snakes. Get out of my way. Or get in my way. That just makes it easier for me to kill you. Uh, let's see. This looks suspicious, but I don't believe there's anything over here. And there's a heart. There's another heart, that's useful enough for me. Okay, now you got this room with a super awesome platforming... Platforming in a Zelda game, who oh, no. Who ever heard of that? And there's bats, of course, just to make things more difficult than they need to. Stupid ass bats. But... Is this where the boss key is? I hope it is. Yeah, it is. There we go. And we can almost get this dungeon finished already. Actually, I think going this way is like an e a faster way. Uh, nope. Guess not. Okay, but now I'm gonna have to make a loop de roop swing around over here again. Thankfully, the snakes don't respawn. Hopefully, the bats didn't either, and they didn't. And now we can get to the boss rube. I said rube. I'm dumb. It's a room. Why can't I speak English? And snakes! Get out of my way! Pick that up. I don't think there's anything in those pots over there. Okay, and... I'm at... I've been recording for like 13 minutes? 14 minutes? Something like that? So I will cut... Well, I won't cut. I'll see you guys in the next episode when I tackle the second dungeon's boss. See you guys later.